Hi everyone, my name is Victoria Paikin from EasyRecipesWithTwist.com and today I'm here with my friends at RecipeLine.com who asked me to produce a video on this beautiful, incredible chicken pot pie. Very easy to make, really fast and really tasty. So, if you like it, stay tuned. For this recipe you will need about a pound of chicken thighs, boneless and skinless, half of pack of butter puff pastry, two ribs of celery, parsley, salt, uh, onion, no salt seasoning, oregano, pepper, cayenne pepper, milk, peas, olive oil, flour, butter, rosemary, egg for egg wash later, and carrots. Let's blitz all of our vegetables. I want them very fine. I want it to be easy and fun to make um, a chicken pot pie and not something that you have to slave about a couple of hours. So I'm just blitzing all the vegetables. Add butter and olive oil to the skillet. Let it melt completely. Add all chopped vegetables at once to the skillet. Add salt, pepper, cayenne pepper and oregano. I'm starting with oregano. Mm, the smell is fabulous. And cayenne pepper for a little kick. Now let it sweat for a couple of minutes in butter and all the juices on medium-high heat. It has been a couple of minutes and I'm adding my chicken. You see I chopped it for quite a large chops, cubes. I'm adding it as well and letting it cool for about a minute or so on high heat. As you see, the chicken started to be opaque <laughs> on one side and I'm flipping them over and letting them cook, cook for about 5 minutes. You don't need really more than 5 minutes on a medium-high heat. Now it has been 5 minutes and I'm adding no salt seasoning on top, about a tablespoon and flour. About two tablespoons will be perfect for this amount of chicken and everything. Mix it well inside the oil and juices of the vegetables here. You shouldn't have seen the flour at all. Incorporate it well inside everything. Flour is in, so I'm adding the milk. on low heat and let it eat thicken for 30 seconds and that's it close the heat and uh, remove it from the heat completely let it cool for about 10 minutes or so okay if the fillet is too thick when it's cooled add a little bit milk or water or a chicken stock or whatever you like and thin it out a little bit. At this point, add uh, your piece and mix it in. Mm, nice. Yummy feeling, I love it. Okay. Take nine inch pie dish or pot pie, whatever you have at home. Unfortunately, I don't have beautiful pot for um, placing inside the oven, but if you have used this, take your butter puff pastry, take the dish, place on top of the butter puff pastry and cut it around. Okay, take it out, 
take your filling and place inside the pot. It looks amazing already. Take a little bit of water on your finger and water all the edges. Cover it with water. It will help the dough stick. Take the edges of the dough, not in the circle that you cut through, and about a centimeter or so, half an inch, and stick it on top of the edges here. It will help the, help the dough stick on top of the dough. It will be better and more beautiful. With all the edges covered with dough, I'm taking the circle that I made before and I'm trying to unstick it. Okay, this is out. And now I'm taking all of this focus and covering it with the dough. Gorgeous. Just little adjustment. And that's it. Okay. Beautiful. Now take fork and squeeze the dough together. Like this. It will hold the shape better. Take your egg and a little bit of milk. Mix them together. very well and brush all over the top because I have no idea where my brush is I'm using my really trusty brush my hands so I'm brushing all over the pastry take your pipe pop it to the preheated oven to 350 Fahrenheit for about 30 to 35 minutes or until the butter puff pastry is puffed and beautiful when the Pastry is puffed, the pie is done. Let's cut it. Mm. So good. Extremely, extremely good and positive recipe. You see all the sauce inside? Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. The feeling is really creamy, you see? It's just beautiful. The chicken is perfect and done. Mm. <laughs> and the shell here. It's crisp and beautiful. So, if you enjoyed the recipe, like me, don't forget to subscribe, write me a comment, thumbs up me, and cheers, Victoria!